well back then. Well, I hope everybody had a good discussion in their breakout group. Um, we're actually going to um, report out on what we talked about. We're going to do this a little bit differently um, just because we want you to be able to share specifically what was on your mind. And if you didn't have a chance to talk and share um, on specific questions in your breakout group, this gives you an opportunity to do so. And so what I'm going to do now is um, uh, open up a new survey. And in this survey, if I can get you back. There you go. Sorry about that, guys. I'm not the best with technology. All right, we're gonna do another survey. And so this, again, with Minty, this is open response. So a lot of you shared some of the TTA requests and needs that have come up most over the year. So what I'd like you to do now is to type your name and org in the little bubble when you go into Minty and um, just list one the top one or two workforce TTA requests or needs that that you that you've talked about in your group. And that should start to come in pretty soon. I'll give you all a minute to type out your responses. HR related to COVID, no. Yeah. We definitely heard that in my group um, that a lot of the workforce recruitment intention work that had been that folks were doing um, immediately started to shift to COVID. Um, Jenna in Nebraska, front desk training, cybersecurity audits, which I thought was super cool for remote workers. Um, Yvette in Louisiana is saying um, customer service and cultural competency. We've got provider licensure and employment laws. Maybe you guys around. CCHN, um, Shannon, you're saying you're, you're doing some recruitment for behavioral health providers and supporting staff taking time off related to COVID, um, working from home, employment laws, a lot of work from home. Um, We've got recruitment and retention, cultural competency, increasing the behavioral health workforce career ladders to increase diversity and higher clinical roles, absolutely. And then recruitment, HR, COVID. Is there anyone else that didn't have a chance to, oh, we've got also moral injury, compassion fatigue, which is really important at this point. Cultural comp so we're seeing a lot of TTA requests coming in around cultural competency. Um, so cultural competency, work from home policies, COVID. Great. Anyone else? Okay, so now I want to, um, oh, here we have another workforce impacted by COVID-19 and um, diversity, equity, and Diversity, equity, inclusion, COVID policies. Yes, thank you. COVID, yep. So I'm gonna move us to the next um, survey question. And here, and I mentioned this in my group, um, we wanna know what you're most successful in providing TTA in. And we want you to type your name and org in one example. And the reason why we're asking you to do this is because we want folks to know who they might be able to reach out to if they are having challenges in providing TTA in one area. They might say, oh, well, Yvette's doing this in her at her organization. Maybe she'd be willing to talk to me about what they're doing. It's really important that we lean on each other and support each other. And so we'll be able to, we'll provide this um, to you as an as a attached document to um, in an email so that you'll have this available to you. But definitely don't be shy. I think a lot of people don't like to give themselves enough credit for the work that they're doing. Um, but all of you have strengths in different areas. And so we definitely want to hear what those strengths are and what you're doing. 
So where do you feel like you're doing the best in terms of your TTA? So recruitment best practices and pipeline building. Thank you, Ashley. Supporting cultural improvement, recruitment strategies for providers, yes. Community health center employment law surrounding COVID. Um, Azara, so the Azara TA webinar um, based on different levels of expertise. Great. What else? We've got a lot of skilled people here. I'd love to see more responses about where you're doing some really good work. So template give for workforce credit. Yep. <laughs> template for workforce plans, recruitment, HR. Great. Salary benefit survey and other workforce metrics, such as turnover, supervisor, manager training. Thank you, Andrea. And Shanika says Crescent Care from Crescent Cares, um, customer service and transgender care. Absolutely. so important as we're all, I think a lot of people are really learning how it is that we are, we can be more inclusive. And so it's something that we're seeing a lot more requests around. So onboarding for new staff and cultural competency and customer service and r, &R. Thank you, Yvette. Jenna, facilitating HR roundtable discussions and simplifying complex policies and procedures. Yes. I think that's a big challenge is helping people not feel so overwhelmed in developing their policies. So I, I love how you frame that. We're simplifying it for them. HR support, thank you, Erica. All right, so now I have one other exercise, just one other survey. Um, what has been the biggest challenge in addressing your workforce TTA needs in your state and region? So if you will, again, just type your name in org and just one example. Um, what is an area where you wish you could grow your skills or you wish your organization had more capacity to support an issue? Um, or it could even be um, different types of learning. Um, how is it that you're engaging health centers in some of the issues? So maybe you have the expertise, but you're just having a hard time engaging them and getting them to follow through. But I'd love to hear what are your biggest challenges, either the specific issue or um, you know, any issues around engagement. And I'll give you a minute to start typing in your responses. Is everybody seeing this question in their Mentimeter? Yes, I am. Great, great, great. Thank you, Suzanne. Sure. The staff capacity to provide what's needed. Okay, yep. Um, leadership buy-in to residency programs and hosting interns. Communicating during COVID has made everything difficult, yep. Engagement, um, oh, low priority due to COVID. Aligning priorities and FQHCs, seeing the PCA as a workforce expert and partner. Mm, interesting. With COVID seeking ways to engage workforce through remote learning. I think a lot of people, are, I don't know if you guys are hearing it, but we hear that a lot of people are kind of burned out on webinars. There's just so much time that you can spend in front of a computer. It gets a little exhausting. So another challenge that Yvette's seeing is engaging CHCs in the current climate with COVID, social unrest, the election, survey fatigue, hurricanes, everything that's going on. We, yeah, I, I hear you. <laughs> it's hard. Um, uh, new to this work, but health centers are expressing low capacity to engage in workforce initiatives. Um, health center long-term planning, looking ahead to future workforce needs, navigating state and federal policy changes, providing support for behavioral health recruitment, keeping individuals engaged and available during the TA opportunities um, with so many competing priorities, yep. Engaging CHC staff with new HRSA deliverables, 
and then competing priorities for COVID. And then lack of workforce interest. Yeah, I mean, we're having to take care of ourselves and take care of our families and deal with the trauma of all that's going on and all that on top of our work. <laughs> so it's, it's a little challenging right now. We're having to be extra diligent in how we're engaging our workforce. So I appreciate all of you responding. We're going to look at this and put this into themes and we're going to use this to help um, guide us in developing the last two sessions of this series so that we can be talking a little bit more on this. But for now, I'm gonna go back to um, the presentation. Are you guys seeing that? And I apologize, it's yep. probably, okay. Yep, I do see it. Um, it's right. not you guys in... It's not in the slideshow format. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. Thank you. There we go. Okay. Um, so just before we wrap up, I just want to share a couple of resources that we think might help you in your work. Um, we did pull together a CWO toolkit. So one of the things that ACU and HRSA are trying to do is really focus in on how it is that we can um, build a stronger workforce. And part of that is having a chief workforce officer. And so we have a toolkit that talks a little bit about how chief work, chief workforce officer looks a little bit different from a chief human resources officer. Um, and so we, um, invite you to browse through that and just become familiar with what that role is so that you can be engaging those conversations. Um, Michelle Fernandez, who is on the Star Center team, she, um, help pull that together. And so if you're wanting to have some deeper conversations about this, she would definitely be happy to talk to you. Um, other resources that we have, um, I want to direct your attention to our, and I apologize, there's a little picture that is covering up this um, title, but the Star Center Self-Paced Courses. These are really great for if you're looking to build your skill set in any one of these areas and add to your toolbox, these are really helpful for that but also to direct your health center uh, folks who are coming to you for support as a resource. So if they're looking for developing a robust compensation package or um, screening and interviewing candidates, feel free to pass along information about these courses to help guide them along at their own pace on how they can be doing some of this work. And you see the URL right there. So as always, we are here to help you, um, to support you. If you have any questions or you want to reach out to us to figure out who to connect to on something, or if you just want to talk through anything that you're working on, please do. Um, here are all of our email addresses. You can't go wrong with who you reach out to because we work very closely together and can pass along your information, connect you to the right staff person. But we definitely want to be here for you and to support you in all the work that you're doing. And so our next meeting is gonna be December 10th. So just make sure that is in your calendar. Like I said earlier, we're gonna do a train the trainer on the first part of our comprehensive workforce recruitment retention plan template, and that's the workforce strategic planning. So hopefully by the end of that session, you'll be able to walk through it yourself with your health centers. Um, we hope you'll be there. We hope that this session was helpful and kind of giving you a bird's eye view as to the types of TTA needs and experiences that your colleagues and other states and regions are experiencing to help you get a better feel of the landscape. So we will see you next month. And thank you so much for being here. Appreciate you all.